What's going on everybody? This is James White with Freak Interviews, bringing you As Seen on TV product reviews, gadget reviews, and more. Now, if you like what you see in this video, please consider subscribing for more videos like this. Now, today I've got five automatic hands-free can openers, ranging in price from $11 up to $30. Is there really a bunch of a difference? Let's find out in today's comparison. So here are the contenders. We've got the Handy Can, the Two Can, the Tornado F4, Insteco, I think it's pronounced, and the Kitchen Mama Yes You Can. In order from cheapest to most expensive, first up we got the Hands Free Handy Can. Ironically, it allows you to open up cans easily, but you can't open the packaging easily. Pretty uh, basic. Next up, it's the ASEAN TV Toucan. Well, it's already easier to open, so I give them the credit for that one. This one is by Bulbhead, which is a, probably the biggest ASEAN TV company out there. It takes four AA batteries, not included. I think they all have no batteries included, so I'm not picking on the Toucan. I, just like saying that. Another ASEAN TV offering is the Tornado F4. Ugh. Maybe they'll come out with a Tornado F5 that can open this packaging. All right, it seems a little bit smaller than the first two I've opened. This one takes three AA batteries, not included also. Popular choice on Amazon is the Insteco. From glancing over these instructions, I don't even know how many batteries this takes. I'll have to figure that out when I crack it open. And finally, it's the Kitchen Mama. Yes, you can. The most expensive model. Is it that much better than the rest? Let's find out. It's the only one with shrink wrap. I wonder if that sets it apart from the others because it's shrink wrapped. A little bit of smashed packaging. I have about that. Come on, guys. Not just kidding. Here we go. Oh, the color is the color is interesting. It's kind of an off, almost a pinkish red. I mean, they all have a very similar design to them. Now I have a good idea how many batteries I have to go get. Let me go get some batteries and start opening. Handy can opener, two can. Tornado F4, Insteco, and the Kitchen Mama. As I'm filming this, I'm not gonna show every can being open the entire duration, but I'll put up here, I'll put a time on how long it actually took for the can to be opened, just so you have an idea of how long each one is taking. Otherwise, it'd be about a 45 minute video of mostly cans being opened and you don't really wanna see that. Some of you may remember my manual can opener comparison, in which I picked the, this KitchenAid as the best one. You might wanna check that out if you haven't seen it yet. But these are different types of can openers. These are all automatic, hands-free, one-touch can openers. You place on top of the can and it does the rest. Prices range from $11 to $30. Let's see how much of a difference there really is. First up at $10.62, it is the ASEAN TV Handy Can. Now, as with my manual can opener comparison, I'm doing four cans of different sizes. So let's get started with the smallest of these cans, some jalapenos. Okay, that's good. Oh, it's still going. Oh, it's still going. It's still going. It won't stop. Okay. It didn't stop on its own, but it did work. It smells like jalapenos in here. And the edge is smooth, so uh, I think first test, we're off to a good start here. All right, next up with the handy can, let's try some green beans. See how fast we can get this going here. Some crackling noises. Is it gonna stop? It stopped. Well, the, uh, the magnet did a pretty good job of grabbing the, the lid, so that's a good thing. This one's pretty easy to align on there, I will say that. It's not the smoothest thing in the world. You can see it's kind of jostling around as it turns, but it is working. All right, the magnet didn't pick this one up, but it did, it did open the can, so we're in good shape with that. 
Finally the big boy here, this four inch can. Is that crackling sound again? Oh, look at that shimmying. It's, it's working. And it turns off good. The magnet doesn't seem to work every time. I think that the $10.62 handy can it's kind of a good standard to set for the rest of these can openers. Let's see how the next one does. All right, next let's try the ASEAN TV 2 can. This one was advertised quite a few years ago, it's still available. This one does not have an auto stop. It says push to start and push to stop. So you gotta monitor this one. Ooh. Magnet's not, oh, the magnet worked. The magnet worked, there it goes. Let's go with a standard size can and some green beans right here. I want no failures from the two can. It has this clicking sound when it first starts. This magnet will work. Magnet's not doing so great. It actually still cut it though. You know, usually I get these comparisons, I get one that really fails badly. And the first one and a half is going pretty well. Kind of happy about that. The cheap ones are bringing their A game to this comparison. The tension mounts, not really. Let's see what we've got here now. All right, the magnet worked on this one. I think that we're, uh, we're really off to a good start with these, hand, these hands-free can openers. I'm, I'm a little bit shocked. Let's see if we can handle one of the big boys here. All right, no, no magnet for this one. The magnet's not an issue. Let's see how this one. All right, well, look at this. Look at this. Man, these things are really slaying it today. So far, the two cheap ones have come with their A game. Let's try the Tornado F4. Can it hang with the models that are half the cost? Okay, well I would say this one is quieter than the other two. It doesn't seem like it's flopping around quite as much. It's going pretty smoothly. Also sounds like it's struggling a little bit too. Okay, just finished. All right, good. And the somewhat weak magnet did work. It worked. Again, I put brand new batteries on all of these. Uh, they're all Duracell batteries. And it seemed like this one was struggling a little bit. Come on, make it worth 20 bucks. Make it worth 20 bucks for me. And by the way, I paid for all these myself. These weren't sent to me by Amazon vendors trying to pump their products. I went down and found five that I thought were good to compare. So I forked out about 90 bucks for these hands-free can openers. So you can get the best one without having to worry about which is the best deal. All right, it's, we are on a roll with these. I have not had one major failure yet. Not that I want any of them to fail, but it's, uh, it makes it difficult to find out what the best deal is when they're all working well. But then you factor in the cost and you might have something. Can of tuna. This one has almost a violent stop to it. It just says, done. That's right. Eat your tuna. All right, well, all I got to say is that I have a lot of food to eat later. That's what I got to say. This one seems to be taking a little bit longer than the others. Seems like it's a little bit grindy on the uh, on the motor too i'm gonna go wash my car and come back there you go all right well that took a long time but let's see if it worked and here we go all right well i think that the tornado f4 was it worked but it seemed a little bit weaker and slower than the others and this one was 20 bucks so i don't know we got more to test out though the other 20 dollar offering is the ins teco Automatic can opener. Let's try that one next. Look at it shimmy again. It's like a little bug shimmy in there back and forth. Oh, I got I got juice dripping. I've got juice dripping. It's supposed to be auto stop, but it ain't auto stopping. That's not auto stopping. 
I will auto stop a little bit late, but let's see. We got a lot of juice spilled out here. It did work. Let's try canning green beans. Once again, we got shimmying going on. Oh, it keeps going. Oh, it's still going. It doesn't know when to stop. It's chaos in here. Nah, it's not chaos. It's working though. All right, next up, can of tuna. For some reason, it seems like it's having an easier time with this one than some of the other ones. But let's see if it shuts off, because it's been having a problem with shutting off. Uh, it's still going. Yeah, it's just, it keeps, it likes to keep going. But it, it is working at the same time, though. All right, and finally, the big old boy here. The four inch can of beans. Can it do it in one pass? The instructions say two pairs is the button for a four inch can. Let's see. There's something very bug like about this one, the way it shakes around. And, okay, let's see. Did it go all the way around? It did go all the way around. It didn't need two presses of the button. The instructions were wrong. All right, I think that, uh, you know, we'll just keep moving. I'll, I'll talk about this later. I've got one more to go, and that's the Kitchen Mama Yes You Can. So let's see if the $30 price tag makes this better than the others that perform pretty well for a third of the cost. First up, jalapenos. This one shimmies also like the others, others do, but it sounds more powerful. I feel like it's, it should have stopped already. Pretty sure it should have stopped already. I guess it's going for two passes, huh? It's not stopping. Okay, well. Well, it did work. It just uh, didn't stop when it was supposed to. Next up, can of green beans. Okay. This part's easy for me. I just get to be the peanut gallery and chime in whenever I feel like it. All right, this one's, all right. All right, it redeemed itself. This one stopped when it was supposed to. So maybe that small can just threw it off a little bit. All right. Yeah, all these can openers, by the way, have the smooth, are the smooth. Okay, well, maybe I shouldn't have done that, but they show it on a balloon and I just cut my finger on it. So, so I guess they're not smooth edge can openers anyways. Let me be, I'll be right back, guys. All right, time for some tuna fish. I'm kind of over this now. There's a smell of jalapenos, beans, and tuna in here that's not really a very appealing smell. The anticipation is killing me. And it should stop right here. It did. Only about half of the time these magnets work, it seems like, even on any of them, not just this one. Because the, uh, the lid kind of gets wedged in there, but so far, I haven't had really a failure yet. I don't think I've ever had a comparison video where all the products worked for everything. So uh, I'm kind of happy in that respect. I'm not happy that I've got a cut finger though. Here we go. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. But these big cans take a little bit, don't they? They're a little bit time consuming. All right, it stopped when it's supposed to and it worked. All right. The good news is that I just opened 20 cans and I didn't have any failures. Uh, the bad news is that I have to try to pick an order for these. But I think I've got a pretty good order picked out right now because it's not just function, but it's also value as well. All right, so how do I rank these? Because they all kind of performed almost equally. I'll start by saying that this is the first time I've done a comparison where the final results were so close. But if I have to rank them, here's the reason I choose this particular ranking, number five, the Tornado F4. The auto stop worked pretty well, but the, this one, the motor seemed pretty weak. And for some reason, it seemed like it was struggling and it seemed like it was kind of slow. So I worry about the motor on this one lasting long term. And it sounds like it might chew through batteries as well. So I think the Tornado F4 is number five in this comparison. Number four, I'm gonna do the INS Teco. For this one, uh, it was 20 bucks, so the auto stop was a little bit iffy. And for some reason, I don't know if it was bouncing around more, but this one seemed like a lot of the cans, I was getting juice dripping around the edges. So I think the Insteco is certainly toward the bottom of the list. Number three is the ASEAN TV 2 can. 
Uh, it takes four batteries. It is the second cheapest, but it doesn't have the auto shut off. It's the loudest and it's the bulkiest of them. So I just think that this one just didn't really impress me as much as some of the others did. Number two, it's the Yes You Can by Kitchen Mama. It worked pretty well. Actually, I can tell the motor is pretty powerful and it was pretty effective. However, it didn't always auto stop when it was supposed to. And it is the most expensive at 30 bucks. So to me, the Kitchen Mama Yes You Can, it's number two. And that leaves the shocking under my radar handy can, which to me at the cheapest and performed about as well as the others is probably the best deal. The magnet worked on a few of the cans. The auto stop didn't work once, but it worked the rest of the time. I just think for the price, the handy can is probably the best deal. Have you guys used any hands-free can openers like these? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Please follow my social profiles for progress pictures, videos as I go. And please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White with Freaking Reviews.